Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, we're going to be making a layered paper craft truck filled with beautiful flowers in the back for summer. This is part of a series I've been working on since before Christmas, where I'm making a different layered truck for every single holiday and season. Best of all, all of the designs are free. So let's find out how to get them. You can download the free cutting file for this project at craftwithsarah.com forward slash free dash SVGs or follow the link in the description of this video to go straight to the download page. The download comes in a zip folder and you need to unzip this before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. When you've downloaded and unzipped the folder, open up Cricut Design Space and start a new project. Press upload on the left and then upload image. You can then either click browse to find the file on your computer or you can drag and drop it in. Make sure you choose the unzipped version of the folder and then the file you want is the one which starts SVG in the file name. The other file types are for different types of machine and not a Cricut. So if you are using a Cricut machine, make sure you choose the one which starts SVG, otherwise it won't load in properly. I'll drag and drop that in and then it should appear like this with all of the layers one on top of the other. If yours looks different and you can see the layers next to each other instead, that means you've accidentally uploaded the wrong file. So if that's the case, press cancel down on the bottom and then try again and make sure you choose the one which starts SVG. When it looks like this, press upload and then the file will appear in your recent upload. So you can click on it to get a green border around it and then press add to canvas. You can see all of the layers down the right hand side. Don't worry that there are quite a lot on this one. It's actually pretty simple to put together. You could cut this out at the size it loads in at, but I like to resize it so that it will better fit my frame. I'm using an A4 frame and I'm gonna make my design nine inches in width. To resize, make sure the little padlock icon at the top of the width and the height boxes is closed. If yours is open, simply click on it to close it. And then you can choose either the width or the height. Type in what you want, so I've put nine inches. Press enter on your keyboard. And then the other dimensions, so in my case the height, will also change in proportion so everything stays looking beautiful. This design has quite a lot of colours in it. And if you want to, you can simplify them if you don't have maybe a lot of different shades of card. To do this, click Color Sync on the top right, and this changes the layers panel so now everything's split out by color. You can then drag and drop to change the colors. So for example, I just changed that dark green to be the same light green as that background, which means now I'd only need one piece of green card when I'm cutting this out. I could do the same with the sunflower and make that all in one color. And now I only need one shade of yellow instead of two. So if you want to, this is just a nice, quick and easy way to simplify the different colors. However, I'm gonna do mine as it was originally designed. So I'll just undo that. Press layers on the top so that I can see all those layers again. And then press make it. This splits everything out into those different colors. And if you want to, you can change the paper size in these drop downs. You do need to do that for every, um, every color. So if you are changing the size, just make sure you don't miss any. And then you can click and drag the shapes to move them about to take up less space on your card. This is a good design for using your little scraps of paper because you can move things around to fit any weird scrap shapes that you've got lying about in your craft room that you've been wondering what to use them for but you couldn't quite bring yourself to throw them away. I know you've got a whole pile of that somewhere because I definitely do. And this project is perfect for finally using them. Once you're happy with how everything's looking, click continue and then it will connect to your Cricut machine and you can follow the on-screen instructions to get everything cut out from your cardstock. Here are all of my layers cut out from cardstock and I've just led them one on top of the other so that I can check I'm happy with all the colours and to make sure I've got everything. We're going to be sticking this together with a combination of 3D foam squares and glue. Here are the foam squares I'm using, you see they're quite small but if yours are big then you can just use a pair of scissors to cut them smaller if you need to. 
The glue I'm using is called Kalal and I like this because it doesn't bend or wrinkle the cardstock like some other glues can do. And I put it into these needle tip applicator bottles from Amazon. As the name suggests, they have very, very teeny tiny tips on them, which means I'm gonna be able to get my glue in all of these flowers really easily. As with all my layered designs, we're gonna start at the bottom and work upwards. So we need to move these layers around so that we just have the bottom two. And try and move all of these flowers in one. <laughs> I managed it. And then let's move these out of the way, this big piece. And then our very two bottom layers are the grey of the very background and then the black of the truck to go on top. Now this layer is optional, you can glue it or you can use foam squares. I've tried both with the various trucks that I've made in the past, but ultimately I prefer to glue it. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one. In the assembly guide, which is included in your download folder, you'll see that for this layer, I have put that it's optional. So you can glue it or use your foam. If you're gluing it, make sure you get your glue into all of those little leaves, just to make sure that they're gonna stick well and that they won't accidentally be caught if they're not stuck down because we don't want to tear them. All right, let's line that up. Oh, not done a very good job there. <laughs> the nice thing about glue is you've got wiggle room to get it into position <laughs> if you mess it up like I just did. The next layer is this one, which is gonna be a foam square layer. So turn it upside down and bring in your foam squares and then add them all around the edge and also into the middle. And the reason we add them into the middle is that it gives extra stability to the design and means that that middle part isn't gonna sag down under the weight of everything else. Try and put some foam around the top of the truck cab too. If you need to, just grab some scissors, cut them smaller. They do cut really easily. But whilst you're doing it, be careful that you don't put any of your foam squares over the gaps in the cardstock. Otherwise you'll see them when you turn it the other way around. And we don't want to be able to see our foam. We want it to be all nice and hidden. Now that I've added all the pieces on, I can just peel the tops off to reveal all of that stickiness underneath. Now I'm going to line it up using those leaves as a guide. And then when I think I've got it right, I'm just gonna gently drop it down. And the reason I've done that is that if I needed to, I could just pick it up again without damaging anything because I haven't actually stuck it yet. I've just put it into position. But that's looking good to me, so I'm gonna push down to get it all stuck. Next, I'm gonna work on the front of the track with this piece here. And I'm going to foam this piece too. So let's turn it upside down and again, add some foam. There are little gaps on this bit as well that you need to just make sure your foam doesn't accidentally cover. And I think I'm gonna need some of my smaller bits that I've previously cut to go in that top section. Alrighty, let's peel these tops off. Now I can line this up, drop it down and then push to seal. Let's do the little hubcaps on the tires next. And these just need one tiny little foam square. And then you can line them up however you want. But I just think it looks nicer if the holes in these are pointing in the same direction. So whether you do them on the side 
you can't really see if I hold it that way, on the side or upwards. It doesn't matter as long as they're both the same. Finally for the front, we've got this piece here which I'm going to add foam to. A few little bits on the back. There we go. And stick it down. All right, now we move on to the back of the truck and this is a lot of pieces. <laughs> We're gonna start with the green and this is gonna be glued down. We'll start easy and then see what happens. <laughs> Again, I'm just making sure my glue goes up into all of those petals and the leaves. So I have a really good stick on it. Glue that into position. It should fit nicely around the front of the truck, but you might just need to tuck it in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move that off there. And then these front flowers also going to move apart. And the wooden bit. And we can take a little look at what we've got. So, we've got the sunflower, then we have some green, and then the white and red, which is making up the majority of the flowers. For the sunflower, I'm going to glue these, and the reason I'm gluing them instead of foaming is because there are a lot of layers in the back of the truck compared to the front. And I don't want the back to be way further out than that front, Otherwise it won't look very realistic. So most of these are gonna end up being glued. But then the front flowers that kind of peek over the edge will probably use some foam on. This is the next sunflower layer which I've turned upside down and I'm gonna glue this one too. Stick that on there. And then for the middle, I'm going to use foam on the orangey bit and then glue on the brown bit. So we can still have a little pop of dimension on there. Then glue in the middle. Next is the green layer. And for this one, I'm going to glue it again. I only need to just tuck it under the middle of that sunflower, I think. But that's okay. There it is. Okay. Next we have these flowers and once again I am going to glue them and I'll just tuck in under that sunflower as well. Not sure if you can really see, but the depth of all of these layers that we're gluing is getting to the point where it's actually the same distance from that base layer as the front of the truck. So we are gradually making it all even due to the sheer amount of bits of card that we're putting on here. Tuck that under. This one will be glued too. Of course, if you want to add more dimension, you absolutely can. If you're not fussed about the back of the truck matching the um, front, then add as many foam pads as you want. Next is this flower, and I'm going to glue it because it's got to have the brown of the front of the truck over the top. So I don't want it to become too thick. All right, next is the brown. And again, this one is gonna be glued. But after that, we'll start having some fun with the foam. Put that one there. And now we have these extra pieces. And I am going to try and remember <laughs> where they all go. So, 
These ones will be here because they're joined together. That one will be there. And I think actually that one was supposed to go on the front of the truck like that. Um, so I'm going to glue that on to look like it was painted on the side of the truck. There. And we're going to add foam for this section so that it matches this one, which is done with foam. I like it when these match evenly on both sides of the truck. It just makes it look a little bit more balanced. So that one on there. And for our remaining little flowers, I'm going to add the foam. Oops, <laughs> there was still a layer there. Um, and I've moved my brown. There we go. Luckily, the glue was still a little bit wet. So, do do do. How many layers have I got? I'm gonna <laughs> make this up as I go along. Can you tell? <laughs> Add my foam to the back of the big white piece. Stick this on. I don't mind these bits being taller than the rest of the truck because it looks like, you know, all the flowers are tumbling out of the front and that's okay. It's just the actual truck itself. I like to kind of stay even. That's just my personal preference. Then that might be slightly too big on the phone tape there. Foam on that one, and I think it'll be easier just to put my glue on there to add the petals. Then there's just one little flower left with two pieces to it. Got the solid, which I'm gonna stick a little bit of foam on the back, put that into place. And then for the top bit, put my glue straight on there. I'm trying not to put any glue in the middle so that it doesn't show through the little hole in the center. But there's that. And now my beautiful summer truck filled with flowers is all finished and ready to go in a shadow box, on a greetings card, or even just stuck on the wall or propped up on a shelf exactly how it is. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a layered summer truck file with your Cricut machine. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more free SVGs and Cricut Craft tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye.